one freaking day without the video game industry trying to screw over the customers that support it, that prop it up, that pay it money. One freaking day! No, especially with people like Sony in the mix, who have now mandated that anyone playing Helldivers 2 on Steam must first link their PlayStation Network account to the game before they're allowed to play it anymore. Don't have a PlayStation account? Ah, not a problem, just sign up for one. Unless you're in a country that doesn't have them or allow them, then you can use a VPN and then get blocked by Sony and they'll kick you. I mean, this is the most ridiculous, absurd decision. And for what? To spy on the users, to find out what information they can gather, how much you're playing, where you're playing, what you're playing, how they can monetize it, because believe me, that's the only reason they care. Hit the subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down the Helldivers 2 requirement to sign in for a PlayStation account before you're able to play it anymore on Steam. Now, here's the thing. Let me give the base information first. This was supposedly announced at launch that it would be eventually mandated, and they did say that. So to their credit, they said it was coming. But it wasn't instituted at launch because they were running into issues, there were problems on their end, and they didn't want to botch the launch of the game, so they removed the requirement so people could happily play Helldivers 2 on Steam and not need to log into a PlayStation Network account to do so. Fast forward to now, apparently they fixed the problems and they put out the following statement. Attention Helldivers, due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. See details below in this post. I love how they say it like, hey guys, it's not you, it's us. We had an issue. It's been resolved, but we did tell you about it and it's here. So you can't get mad at us because we told you about it. It was coming, right? So you can't get mad. Account linking plays a critical role in protecting our play. I, I can't even get through this without laughing. Like it is so absurd. The hoops you have to jump through, the pretzel to twist yourself into, to write these words and try to write them seriously, is comical. Account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studios games. This is our main way to protect. This is for our protection, guys. That's the reason. It's not to monetize it. It's not to spy on us. It's not to find out more data feeding and information and crawling through all our information. No, 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 no. It's to protect us. Notice a trend, by the way, with all the rules that get implemented, especially with worldwide governments, when it's always for your protection. That's what they always say, because you don't know any better. You need protection. This is our main way to protect players from grieving and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. So it's enabling a police state on Helldivers 2. And here's the thing. If there were like massive reports of harassment or aggression or as they say it protecting players grieving and abuse like people facing abuse if there were like really hardcore issues with that going on in the game they might have a leg to stand on but as it stands right now I haven't heard about any of that in fact I've heard quite the opposite. Helldivers 2 has been an incredible experience for everyone diving into this, loving every second, protecting democracy, as they say it, in the game. But apparently, Sony wants to institute these protections for your safety that I don't even see existing. Weird how they just bring this up, 
create a situation, create a problem, and then say they got a fix for it when no one was complaining about the problem in the first place. As such, as of May 6th, all new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have linked a Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up using this link. It's free, guys. Just just come in, give us your information, give us all your data that we can sell and make money off of, and then be able to track you in-game and what you're spending your time on. Just go ahead and freely give that all to us. Oh, and by the way, now participating in Sony's EULA that you now require to check off with the PlayStation Network, that you may not agree with some of their policies while you were playing this game before, they are now instituting the EULA agreement to this that you now have to blindly agree to to continue playing the game that you've already been enjoying and were promised and sold for over a month now. We understand that while this may be an inconvenience to some of some of you, it might be an inconvenience for, I don't know, our gamers in Africa where they can't get a PlayStation Network and would have to illegally get a VPN and then be possibly banned for doing that. It might inconvenience you guys. This step will help us continue to build a community that you are all proud to be part of. If anything, this has done the complete opposite. I've seen Helldivers 2 bring the community together in ways I never thought possible. This was the unifying game that everyone was having a blast playing together. And now this is being instituted, nay, mandated on top of the service that was already allowed, requiring people to agree to things that they might not necessarily agree to just to keep playing the game that they love. Many thanks to your continued support of Helldivers 2, Sony Interactive Entertainment. Now, here's the thing. I don't blame Arrowhead, the company that's behind making Helldivers. This is clearly Sony impacting it, requiring it, mandating this on Steam for them to be able to track you, not to protect you, as they say here, because as they say, this is from Sony Interactive Entertainment being posted on Helldivers 2 account and Steam page and Twitter, but don't make any mistake, this is from Sony and they're saying it's to protect you. The biggest problem that I see with this is that people were sold a bill of goods with the understanding that they were able to play it and not be tracked, not be monitored, not have Sony sell their information or find out things about them. They pay 30 bucks for the game and enjoy the experience and everyone's happy. And now, months after the release of the game, Sony is now mandating impacting every single player that plays the game, signing their user agreement, signing on to a PlayStation Network, making them create an account, sign into Steam with it, just like many other game companies do. I'm not saying Sony's alone in this, but it's just like another domino to fall when it comes to your own privacy. These companies are trying to find out everything about you and using the video games as a method to do that. Not to mention, like I said, People in certain countries in Africa and parts of Eastern Europe are unable to get a PlayStation Network account. They just don't exist in those areas. Now, sure, they can get a VPN, but that also creates a situation where you're not allowed to do that and you could be banned via PlayStation Network rules. So you have to skirt the rules to get the PlayStation account to possibly get banned because you skirted the rules. Yeah, it makes sense to me. This decision has not been met very well at all by anyone in the community. In fact, I'm pretty proud of everyone standing up for themselves saying, hell no, I don't care if you told us about this at launch. It's not something that I want as part of my game. Stop forcing this on us, especially after we've had the opportunity to play it without having to do that, and especially for people that don't have the opportunity to get a PlayStation Network account, not to mention the people that don't want their privacy invaded by using a PlayStation Network account and having all their information tracked. The backlash on Steam has been swift. Helldivers 2 has been bombarded with nearly 7,000 negative reviews shortly after this announcement. It's been less than 24 hours of this announcement and already have been bombarded with negative reviews on Steam. And I genuinely, my heart goes out for Arrowhead Studios who put this game together because they don't want this. They don't, they, this is not their thing. This is Sony's thing and it's impacting the review scores of their game. And it's really tragic that it comes to this, but it is the situation and the only way to fight back is to tell them 
by not buying the game. Oh, wait, what about all the people that already bought the game? Yeah, exactly. I think you can see why there are so many people upset about this. They are able to purchase the game, have fun with it, and now this is coming after their experience, and they're saying, no, I didn't sign up for that. This ain't what I want. And a lot of people are going to stop playing the game if their tweets are to be believed. Anyways, I'm going to leave the video right there. If you want more information on all the links, references, check out SmashJT.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash, 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 Smash.